400 days ago I added about 3 millipedes and a few ice spots into this terrarium ecosystem and you won't believe how many animals are in there now or you will believe it, you know, it's not that unbelievable it's just a lot, okay and since this terrarium looks like shit now I'm also going to give it a makeover let's take a closer look I didn't add this slug, but it was just there someday I bet you want to poke its eye it is just chilling in the terrarium sucking a bit just like your mom she probably cleans the windows too at your home just like this slug but the windows aren't the only thing this slug has been sucking on it has been busy those are slug eggs and I found another pile of them in the terrarium you can actually see the baby slugs inside here is one isn't it cute now where did I leave the salt the slugs aren't the only ones who have been busy these millipedes are knocking a lot of boots and the bottom is the position to be because that way you can eat and mate at the same time couple goals before I can find more animals in this terrarium I need to clean it up a bit especially this big plant it is in the way so it's got to go snip snip and yes I'm struggling to cut this plant don't judge it's harder than it looks okay the slugs love to eat this plant so I'm keeping a part of it to add back later as food now I'm going to collect some new plants to add in the terrarium and with plants of course I mean moss I disturbed an ant nest let's see if they are friendly ow okay apparently not covering their nest up a bit I'll come kill them later just kidding no I'm not the substrate in the terrarium has become too compacted so I'm looking for something that can solve it for me earthworms they will dig through the soil and create more holes they will also make more nutrients available for the plants I saw a tiny one this is probably the size you're more used to because it's about the size of your day I'm sorry and here it is the sausage party I will add these in the terrarium later first I need to clean up the terrarium a bit more taking out all the dead plants and moss this is not a fast forward by the way I'm just that fast just like the flash at least that's what my girlfriend calls me oh wait some animals try to escape with the stuff I took out like these baby isopods no clue what they are doing but I will add them back later first it's time to put in the worms earthworms don't like light so they will dig underground fast a lot is going on in this shot that is a baby slug and those are mating millipedes come on guys it's getting out of hand here is one of the earthworms digging himself here underground I feel like there's a that's what she said joke in here somewhere but it's probably going to be too dirty now the terrarium is cleaned up a bit we can spot more animals I had to look long and hard for a millipede that wasn't well long and hard finally one that isn't mating but knowing these millipedes it is probably looking for a partner maybe it can ask one of these two pairs if it can join this is Bob the predator of the terrarium and he has taken an interest in this millipede the millipede however just want to chill and get out of here Bob is taking a closer look to see if it's worth it apparently not just chewing on a bit of dirt instead yum who doesn't want a life like Bob just chilling eating and there is a second Bob in there somewhere I just don't know if it's male or female as you can see Bob is tiny so it's not easy to film these close-ups that is why the image is a bit shaky here is an isopod later in this video I still have a trick to lure the animals out and you will be surprised how many are actually in there but first, let's restore the terrarium. Yep, here we are again. Me adding moss into a terrarium. Don't worry, we'll get through this together. You can do it, keep watching. I also wanted to let you guys know I ordered a new mic. So next video, you can hear my expressive voice better. I know you don't want to miss any second of me adding moss, but if you are still here, please consider scrolling down and pressing the like button. Thank you almost done I'm adding some dead leaves and pieces of the plant we cut up before 
This is great food for the animals. Same with these pieces of wood. The terrarium still looks a bit empty, so I'm adding these rocks. These are just decorative. Yeah, those really lighten up the place. That is not all of course. This big piece of wood will give the animals some hiding space and food. Yes, this looks pretty okay. Time to add the animals back that try to escape. And yes, Bob was one of them. Sneaky little bastard. To see how many animals are actually in here, I have one more trick up my sleeve. The lamest joke ever. This piece of cucumber will lure the animals out of hiding. The first one is this slug. And this bigger one that is sitting on top of a millipede. The millipede doesn't seem to care though, it keeps eating. The other millipedes are more interested in humping and eating the lichen on the wood. More animals are slowly gathering. Two different species of millipede, a baby slug, some springtails. And here they come. These are mostly millipedes. These all started from three or four individuals 400 days ago. And also the ice spots won the piece. To wrap up this video, I just want to thank my patrons and everyone that watched. If you somehow enjoyed this video, I think you will like this one next.